Everybody, Aaron Cowan, Sage Dynamics. This week's video, we're taking a look at the Griffin Indices Revolution 9 9 mm suppressor. Just right off the bat, I gotta be honest with you, I've never been a suppressor fan uh, for handguns. Um, it makes the weapon cumbersome. Obviously, holstering would be an issue. Uh, general manipulation is issue. It adds weight to the barrel. Um, the sound reduction is nice. It's really, really nice, but it makes a very cumbersome weapon system. Uh, so, unless you have a need for it, a practical need for it, I've never seen a use for it myself, just as, especially in a CCW role or self-defense role, unless it's a dedicated home defense gun, uh, the suppressor's never really been a, a realistic option for me. Just factored it in. Uh, that being said, I really do like this can. The, uh, the de decibel reduction, which I'll go ahead and put up on the screen, uh, is actually really, really excellent. Um, it's going to cycle reliably on, on most guns. Uh, and again, problem that uh, cans have had in the past is they can be a little finicky on handguns. Some handguns like them, some handguns don't. Uh, you may not be able to run underpowered springs or custom triggers or anything that's going to factor into the reliable cycling of the weapon with the suppressor in place. And you may be able to use suppressor ammo or may not. It just depends on the gun, depends on the barrel, depends on the can. A lot of things factor into that. Um, the great thing about this can, like I said, uh, it's a quick attach, obviously a direct thread to your threaded barrel. Uh, use a storm -like barrel and a silencer coat barrel. Both work really well. Um, the unique thing, I would say, about the Revolution 9mm from Griffin is you can reduce the size of it. Now, if we want to reduce the size of the Revolution 9 can, remove the rear attachment, spacer, remove the front cap, introduce the internal spacer, which will press out three of the baffles, and then we simply reassemble. And just with that little bit of work, can's ready to go. Even, even with the, the additional length, adding it to a handgun, or if you're going to use it on a submachine gun, um, the additional weight is very negligible. Uh, like I said, even shooting it on a handgun. Didn't really experience any issues, any additional fatigue for you know long presentation times. And uh, it, it works. I mean, I mean, there's only so much you can say about a suppressor. This suppressor reduces the de decibel level to hearing safe, not only at my ear, but the ear of other shooters on the range. I got other people out here on the range with me today, and it's hearing safe at my ear, it's hearing safe at their ears, and that's the most important part about a suppressor is it's going to reduce the decibel level to the point where you don't need to use hearing protection. Um, and of course on a, on a handgun with your lower velocity rounds, this thing is super quiet. You run it dry, ran it dry, and ran it wet. Decibel reduction is really, really good. And there's a noticeable difference in the, uh, the long configuration um, when you run it wet. It definitely reduces the decibel additional degree. Uh, you get a little bit of water in it, you're going to get, an, you know, you're going to get 10, 15 rounds of some additional decibel reduction, which is anecdotal. There's no real way for me to measure that today. Uh, and of course, I can shoot it on camera, but you guys are not going to be able to hear the actual decibel level at home just to the, you know, the uh, restrictions on uh, recording equipment. Now you've already seen uh, the can in action, so we're going to go ahead and reduce it to the Kurtz or the, the K configuration, which is basically reducing the overall length of the can to see how that works. Now in the K configuration, the shorter configuration with the Revolution 9, uh, the decibel level does increase, but to me it's not noticeable at the ear.
Now, there's obviously a lot of suppressors on the market. Um, I like this one uh, because it gives me options. I can go a full length or I can sacrifice a little bit of decibel reduction and I can get that shorter length can. Uh, to me, that makes a lot of sense. I'm technically getting two cans in one. I'm getting a longer and a shorter nine millimeter can. I can use it on a handgun. Obviously, once you, you have a nine millimeter handgun, you just gotta source out a, a quality threaded barrel. Or if you have a submachine gun, um, you can obviously introduce that into the same thing. So you got a can for multiple platforms and you've got a longer and a shorter can based on what you need. Uh, me personally, if I was gonna use a nine millimeter can, if I did use a handgun for home defense, it would definitely be an option I would consider. Uh, I would probably uh, purpose build the handgun for that role. I introduce suppressor height sights, uh, quality weapon light, um, and then put the can on it so I have uh, hearing attenuation safety and the bigger factor is I can actually fire the weapon indoors and then I don't have hearing loss so once the rounds have been fired I'm still able to hear after that fact which is important especially in a home defense situation or any kind of general perimeter defense self-defense situation like that. Now even the K configuration, Griffin can is reliable, it's quiet, works on the gun. Um, as I said earlier, uh, I've never been a huge fan of suppressors on handguns. I've never seen, a, you know, there's, there's just a lot of gear issues when it comes to it. How do you actually holster the weapon? Uh, there are holsters out there that allow you to holster a suppressed weapon. And then obviously the length is an issue as well. Uh, but if you have a special purpose need for a suppressor on a can, if you're going to use it for a home defense weapon, if you're worried about hearing loss, hearing issues, things like that, or you're shooting indoors, or it's a, uh, an occupational need for a handgun, uh, the Revolution 9 is a really great can. We put uh, probably about a 500, probably about 500 rounds through it today. Uh, haven't experienced any issues. Um, even when it gets hot, it maintains that hearing safe uh, decibel level. Um, I think if you're in the market for a can, especially one that allows you to go from a full length to a shorter length and only lose a little bit of decibel reduction uh, in the reduction of the can and give you a shorter profile can, I think it's a really great choice. I'm Aaron Cowan with Sage Dynamics. Train accordingly. Hey, it makes the bullets quiet, guys.